everybody, and happy Tuesday. I hope you had a great weekend. We still have a couple more days of summer left, so before we get to fall books, I'm going to read one last gardening book. It's brand new to the library. It's called The Bear's Garden. It's written by Marcy Colleen, and it's published by Macmillan Children's, and we want to thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. In the big, bustling city, all the people were busy. They rushed up and down the street without seeing that some buildings needed paint, that some buildings were empty, that some buildings were gone. And this looks like any city neighborhood. There's kids playing and cars and people walking with their kids. But in one girl's imagination, the city was a place to grow, a place to play, a place to love. She could always find beauty around her. She loved where she lived. And look, she's sitting with her plant and her bear. And she sees the beauty in her neighborhood. Now, what do we have here? Here's the plant. And she's here. And then the plant's growing a little more. And she brought her bear. And here the bear is sitting with the plant. And you can tell it's growing. And it got even bigger. Can you see that? Now in this very last panel, we see a pigeon. And what is that pigeon going to do? Uh-oh. What did the pigeon do? Can you tell? It looks like it knocked the plant over. One night, the girl's imagination spilled onto the sidewalk, rolled across the street, and sprouted. The plant was fine. A baby garden. When she spotted the seedling, she introduced herself with a how do you do and a garden party. So look, she's having a tea party with the pigeon and her bear and the plant. And that's how it went day after day. No matter how fierce the sun or how swift the wind, the little girl watched over the seedling. I believe in you, she whispered every morning and every night. Look, before she goes to bed, she's in her pajamas. And she's giving some love to that plant. More seedlings soon grew. People rushing by began to slow down. First with a tip of the hat or a nod of the head. People stopped to smile or say hello to the little girl with the tiny green friends. So look, the plants are growing and look, people are stopping to look at what she grew. Then came a time when the girl had to leave for a while. Without her care and without her love, she knew the plants would wither. Oh no! She wanted to bring the garden with her, but it wasn't possible. She thought maybe she could whisper, I believe in you, from far away. But she didn't have enough string. She tried employing a pigeon, but it was clearly not trained. If the little girl could not take care of the garden, someone else would have to do it. And who do you think is going to take care of that garden? I think the bear. She filled her bear with cuddles and, snu and snuggles and stuffed him full of hope. She locked button eyes with him and whispered in his ears, this is a very special mission. Watch the garden until I get back. She kissed him on top of his head and left him to do his job. And it looks like she's out going someplace with her mom. But that bear is going to watch the garden. From miles away, the girl imagined the garden was blooming. She imagined it could be a place to grow. A place to play. Look at this garden at it. There's hopscotch and all those beautiful plants. A place to love. Look at everybody working together. And guess what?
guess what it was. And, and here's a little note. The Pacific Street Brooklyn Bears Community Garden was founded in 1995 and is named for a teddy bear that was sitting in the weeds. On this neglected corner in Brooklyn, New York, the community came together to launch a beautification project that has continued for more than 25 years. Although no one knows how the bear got there, it is the inspiration for the story that I just read to you. Today, Brooklyn is home to numerous community gardens and each provides a place to grow, a place to play, and a place to love. But most of all, it is a place to imagine what can be. I would love to know what you thought of this story, and if you had a garden yourself this summer. And if you did, let me know on our Instagram page. And for a fun activity, we have a really cool activity you can try at home on seed germination. And you can find all the details on our Wiglet page. I'll be back on Thursday with another new story, and I'll see you then. Have a great couple days.